Uh, what's up folks chef london back with another video before we jump into the video folks do me a favor hit the like hit the subscribe help me grow the channel i'm also giving away a free 21 day fat loss program if you're interested in that all you have to do is email me put fat loss in the link in the um in the title and then uh the emails in the link in the description real quick um you know fat loss it people think it's about calories it's not it's really about managing your hormones and hormones is a word that gets people intimidated but there's really there's a bunch of hormones there's really four but there's two in particular that are real significant when it comes to losing weight and that is cortisol and that's your stress hormone that's your fight or flight hormone so what happens is um when you're stressed your body breaks down sugar which is a good thing and you use that sugar to get energy so back in the day when we were in the jungle a lion was there cortisol levels would shoot through the roof and you would use this, burn this sugar, which is coming from your muscles and fat cells to get energy to just hype yourself up and get the hell out of there or climb a tree or whatever. And then cortisol levels will dip down. All right, so now the problem with that is, is that in today's society, cortisol levels are elevated for an extended period of time. It's just not like you see a line, you escape, and then you relax again. It's like now, your body's releasing hormones like there's lions chasing you all day. So you become stressed and there's a lot of negative results that come with that. But one of those negative results is that you're constantly breaking down sugar. And when you break down sugar and sugar's in the bloodstream, insulin is released, which is your storage hormone. You cannot burn fat when insulin is present. And every time you eat a carbohydrate, insulin is present. So this has nothing to do about diet. When your body is stressed and cortisol levels are high, insulin is constantly being released. And uh, hold on one second, guys. What happened here? Okay. It's constantly being released and you're just steady burning fat. And when you're eating anything you're eating is getting stored as fat cells. So you have to manage your stress and which is a real like obscure term right it's like how do you manage stress well one thing is like sleeping more that's an easy way to manage stress so you want to get at least seven hours of sleep each night and the problem with sleep people think it's like hey if you have one bad night of sleep your cortisol levels that's going to affect you for multiple days so you're going to be in this state where your body's just in storage mode for multiple days so sleep is a good one um you know mindfulness meditation which i don't really like using those words because they're just so obscure but having a little five minute meditation practice where you sit down you put a timer on and you just sit there make yourself sit for five minutes and each week increase it go up to six minutes seven minutes so on and so forth and just sit there and it's going to be difficult but don't even worry about it. I'm not going to get into the effects and the science of uh, mindfulness training just do it third thing is um, you know toxic relationships if you you know dump that guy man dump that guy if he's if you're stressed more times than not that's not good get rid of it get rid of it and, and vice versa with the fellas if she's stressing you out man charge her man get go go be single it's okay you could be alone and that's the problem a lot of people don't want to be alone they always got to have somebody to cling on to be alone that's a sign of strength that you could be behind yourself but by yourself back in the day when i got out of college all my friends were like all over they didn't get back from college yet i used to i lived in new york city I used to go to the club by myself because I didn't like the way it felt to like reach out to people like, hey, you guys want to go out? You want to go? I used to go to the club by myself and have the time of my life. But that helped me and it helped me be independent and just have strength. I digress. All right. You get the point. Manage cortisol. Much love.